music makes up a big part of student life at St. Francis, whether it be listening, performing, or learning about it. This summer, WSCFDV got the chance to interview an alumnus of our school who is living it. To make it in the music business, you need to put in a lot of hard work and be in the right place at the right time. WSTFDV went backstage at the Town Ballroom in Buffalo to catch up with a graduate who's doing some pretty awesome things. This is St. Francis High School's Alumni Spotlight. Uh, my name is Elliot Jacobson. I graduated in 2002 and I'm a musician. I, I had a great experience in St. Francis. I had a lot of great teachers and made a lot of friends there. Um, and I think I learned a lot that has still, has stayed with me. I think I've carried through uh, the rest of my life. So it was, I'm very happy with it. I had a great time. Um, I think my career is really based around building strong relationships with other artists uh, and you know people I, I work with on a daily basis and I think it shaped me to be the person I am and I have a lot of loyal friends that are in the industry and um, you know I made a lot of strong relationships from that uh, it's helped me know really when to make you know it helped me make the right decisions in life I think um, and that is the most important thing I think I learned. Oh man. I mean, I, I do a lot of recording work in New York. Um, and there's a lot of big artists that I work with that I, I can't actually talk about. Um, but there's definitely a lot of music on the radio that I work on. Uh, there, everybody in the band I, I also work with, Bess Rogers has solo music, Ali Moss has solo music, uh, Lilia Broussard is another artist that I work with, Jenny Owen Youngs, uh, Greg Laswell is another artist. Um, there's a lot of singer-songwriters and uh, that are based in New York and LA that I do a lot of work with. Uh, well, you know, I was in I was, I was a, a band geek, pretty much. I mean, I was, I was in the, uh, not that that's a bad thing, I think that was great. Um, I was in Mr. Fatty's uh, concert band, jazz ensemble, the percussion ensemble, pit band. Um, I started the pep band there for, for a little while. There was, you know, it was me and Dave Papke. Uh, he's one of my closest friends. A couple different guitar players we had, so. Yeah, I played in a bunch of bands outside of school too, obviously, so. Yeah, it's always exciting. We did um, Thursday in the Square a couple years ago, and that was one of the highlights for me, I think, of you know everything I've done just to be in the hometown and playing for that many people, and the band had a really good time, you know, so today I, I'm sure is gonna be just as good as that. Um, I met Ingrid uh, when I was at college uh, on Staten Island, and she's a Staten Island native. She was a singer-songwriter on the island, and she, uh, she needed a drummer, and she knew I was a drummer, and she asked me to play. So uh, I'm still with her since then. It's fun. Uh, I've been playing with Ingrid for almost nine years uh, and we started out very small you know playing a lot of New York clubs and bars and not making any money and um, so we we go back we're, we're, we're close friends and everybody in the band it's the same way we were all pretty close friends uh, so it's a really fun time a lot of jokes and everybody's really talented so it's very satisfying um, I think I, I have to say, just because it's, you know, you can't really dispute it, that Red Rocks was the best. Uh, uh, Madison Square Garden was up there. Um, but I also like playing 
you know, I like playing places like this where it's like, you know, everybody's there. It's not a huge place, but um, it's a good audience and, you know, high energy crowd, so. Yeah, you know, I still talk to a lot of those guys. I'm obviously traveling a lot, so it's, it's hard for me to come back to Buffalo and really spend time with them. But they come to shows and see me uh, whenever they can, and that's cool. Um, so, yeah, I mean, I'm still in touch with a lot of guys. It's nice. I mean, that was amazing. That was, a, like, definitely a career highlight, and it, it opened a lot of doors for me. Uh, with you know endorsements, sponsorships, and working with other artists, and uh, I mean, I'm I was super flattered by that. Yeah, I uh, I got to meet him. I mean, Jackbox actually like kind of come up in a lot of different ways in, in my music life. Like we do some shows, and he'll be like the MC or, or the DJ or whatever, and um, or he'll like play a couple nights after us at some of these venues. But yeah, there was a the school school of rock is the name of the movie, and I'm in there, so I'm an extra. It's not it's not a big deal, but I was super excited about that. Oh wow, uh, it's not very probable, but I would love to do it. I love all those guys. You know, a lot of St. Francis guys. Um, you know, Pat Worth, Ryan Garnett, uh, John Sension. Um, so, I mean, that was a really fun band, and those are great guys. So, maybe one day, I don't know. Man, there's like so many teachers. Uh, you know, Friar Mike Lasky is actually going to be at my wedding this year, um, doing the ceremony, and he was a, a, a teacher there. Uh, Mr. Shea was obviously from the greatest band in the world, uh, The Leftovers. Um, you know, really good guy. Uh, obviously, Coach Masore is the man for hooking this up. And um, Mr. Fatty for really getting me started, you know, to become like a, a pro musician and teaching me how to be a professional, I think, in, in the industry. That was a big deal. Um, man, just everybody. Ellis, I mean, there's just too many to list. Yeah, thank you very much for having me. You never know where the beginnings of your St. Francis education will take you. Elliot has traveled the world, played in headlining bands, but he was gracious enough to come sit down with us, WSTF-DV, to share insight into his success. In addition to working with numerous artists, He's also played percussion in the critically acclaimed award-winning movie, Beasts of the Southern Wild, the Grand Jury Award winner for Best Dramatic Film at Sundance Film Festival. The musical score is also being mentioned as a likely nominee for the upcoming award season, and on Ingrid Michaelson's fifth studio album, Human Again, his playing helped it reach number five on the Billboard charts. His music is featured in TV shows, commercials, and movie soundtracks, so you never know where you might be hearing him. A true Renaissance man, Elliot has already achieved so much at a young age, but with his potential, everything up to this point has just been a prelude. FTV production.